guys how are you doing today welcome back to random lifestyle vlog so as you can see today we're going to be unboxing the john lewis beauty advent calendar and i can't wait to see what's inside this advent calendar was really good last year and two years ago so i have really high hopes so let me just give you the details before we start so this advent calendar is priced at 195 pounds it's available now and it's worth over 915 pounds so that definitely sounds good. It contains 31 full size and deluxe sized beauty products. So that could mean anything, right? So let's take the sleeve off first. And there you go. This is our advent calendar. And this is what it looks like. I actually really like the color story here. I like the purples and pinks. And to be honest, I do find this a little bit like Halloween-y, which is really cool because we're in October. So you know everything is very halloweeny but that might be just my imagination maybe i just generally like halloween anyway let's start day number one is over here so inside this box we have another box and this is something by carolina herrera so let's have a closer look this is like this matryoshka doll like you just open one doll and there's like another doll inside so uh there are like two more boxes inside of this box and uh, this is what is this this is a mini kiss uh, the mini tint lip balm in shade delicious rose and this is a refill and we have two grams over here and this one is mini kiss the mini tint red and pink case okay so we have a lipstick in two parts kind of like let's let's have a closer look so this is our case it is actually really pretty isn't it and let's have a look at our lipstick now so this is what the refill looks like i mean it looks all right you could just use it as a lipstick in general like you don't really need that case uh, to use it and this is the shade we have here so this is supposed to be like a lip tint or lip balm I don't really see much a uh, tint uh, action here it's very kind of like it's like a very subtle rosy hue to it but i'm not sure if you'll be able to see anything i can barely see anything so this is like a lip balm so i would just treat it more as a kind of like a nourishing lip balm rather than something that's uh, going to add some color to my lips so let's figure out how to use the case now Okay guys, this is not a foolproof thing because I cannot figure out how to do it. I would probably need like some sort of instruction manual, but uh, it just doesn't really seem to go together. Like I'm not really sure how this rifle is supposed to fit in any of these kind of like parts of the case. Um, this kind of red thing is too wide for anything and it doesn't really seem to be removable. So uh, a little bit weird. I'm not really sure... I'm not really sure how this should go. So yeah, interesting. I mean, I wish I could actually figure that out and it would make so much more sense because as much as this lipstick by itself, the refill, you can just use it as a lipstick and it's fine. Uh, the case by itself, it's not particularly useful if you don't, don't have anything to put in there. So yeah, I'm just going to check that out at the end of the video. Let's move on for now. Okay, day number two, look how big it is. Uh, so yes, we have... Ooh, we have like three items inside. That's exciting. So the first product is a full-size neon candle. We have Bedtime Hero with chamomile, lang lang and cedar root. And this is their scent to sleep. And this is 195 grams. I love these candles. I mean, I love candles in general, but they are like so relaxing. So really nice to see that one here. Next up, we have a really nice size of a L'Occitane Almond Hand Cream. So we have 75 mils here. L'Occitane have brilliant hand creams, they are very nourishing uh, and they smell really lovely. So yeah, that's another good one. And then lastly, in this box, we have uh, another Neon product and this is Bedtime Hero uh, Pillow Mist. And this is a, a matching scent to our candle. They do have like a very pleasant scent. They don't, you know, some of these uh, pillow mists are so potent that I find it very difficult to like fall asleep uh, with such a strong uh, scent around me. Uh, but these tend to be very relaxing and very kind of nicely balanced. Day number three. So this is what we have inside. It says Spectrum Rouge. So this is, uh, okay, this is A05 Mini Angled Cheek Brush. So this is our brush. As you can see, it's a little bit shorter than your kind of like regular size uh, brush, but that actually makes it better for like traveling if you don't really want uh, your brushes to take that much space, right? It's really cute. It's very useful as well. I do use angled brush like that for my uh, blush and my bronzer. So yeah, 
quite handy. Day number four. Okay, so this is a good one. This is a Studio Skin Voltory Super Seed Serum with broccoli seed and peptides. And this is 50 mils. I've tried this product before. Uh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, especially if you have uh, dry and sensitive skin. They excel at products for like dry and sensitive skin. So that is amazing. I love peptides in my skincare. I usually use that one in the morning. Uh, followed with like vitamin C kind of serum. So yeah, I'm really happy with that one. Day number five. So here we have a fragrance and this is Portrait of a Lady by Dominique Ropion. This is 10 mils. So this is supposed to be warm, spicy, ambery fragrance with some rose. It sounds very much up my alley. The top notes, rose, clove, oh, that's going to be very autumnal, right? Raspberry, black currant, and cinnamon. Then we have middle notes of patchouli, incense, and sandalwood, and then base notes of musk, benzene, and amber. That sounds amazing. And you know, I love the fact that it actually sounds like a perfect fragrance for uh, this kind of like a colder season. Oh, that is lovely. It has a bit of this, like, almost like a vintage vibe, but it is a beautiful fragrance with a rose and incense and it's very kind of warm. So it's going to be perfect for like winter and autumn. I really like it. Day number six. And here we have a Charlotte Tilbury quad. So if you love Charlotte Tilbury, um, by buying advent calendars this year, you can pretty much collect all of her quads. I feel like these appear quite often in this year's advent calendars. So the one that we have here is Walk of No Shame. And these are the shades. I'm not going to swatch this one because I already have this palette. So there's no point for me to use like a new one. Uh, but this is a really nice quality palette, really nice shade. Not all Charlotte Tilbury quads are like the same quality, but this one is actually nice. This is one of the good ones. All right, day number seven. So we have another product that's quite popular this year. This is Auto uh, CBD Sleep Drops with 10% CBD and we have 15 mils. Uh, this is a really nice kind of like a calming product that helps you sleep better uh, or helps you like fall asleep if you have problems with that. I personally don't have problems with falling asleep, but I've noticed that whenever I use this, I feel like I get a little bit better quality sleep. I uh, wake up more rested, more refreshed, uh, and uh, I actually like this product for that. It is also quite pricey, so since I don't really have problems with falling asleep, I wouldn't necessarily buy it with my own money, but it's always nice to have like a backup bottle from an advent calendar. Okay, day number eight up here. Ooh, we have some LMS. So this is LMS Pro Collagen Rose Marine Cream, anti-wrinkle hydrating day cream, uh, 15 mils, and this is another classic um, uh, marine collagen cream, uh, but this one is actually rose scented. I really love the fact that LMS products, I mean, even though they have like different scents, uh, those scents are not overpowering and they're still quite pleasant. I don't think I would enjoy something like heavily perfumed on my face, but this is like a very pleasant, kind of like a creamy rose scent, so that is quite nice. Day number nine. So here we have Banana Low Lighter by Rodial, lit from within, complexion enhancer and we have 1.6 mils. So let's see what that is. So this is our low lighter and I'm assuming, I mean, I'm guessing, I haven't really tried this product yet, but I'm assuming this is a kind of like highlighter, but kind of like more muted, right? This is what it looks like. And let's kind of blend it out a little bit. So yeah, it kind of makes sense. Uh, so it does have this highlighting effect, but it's not shiny, it's not sparkling, it's muted. I think it's going to look particularly lovely on, let's say, mature skin, where you're trying to avoid um, like too much sparkle. Or maybe even for people with like oily skin. I mean, uh, oily skin has its own natural glow, so sometimes you might not want to add more of that. So it's interesting. I'm definitely going to give it a go. Uh, my only concern is that this does not really seem like it's going to be suitable for like every skin tone, right? It does seem all right on my skin tone. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so it should be all right. But I'm not I'm not sure if this would work on someone with like deeper skin tone. Day number 10. Oh, we have this lovely Aqua di Parma box. Look at that. Uh, so what do we have inside? So we have two items here. So first up, we have a bath and shower gel, and this is 40 mils. And then we have a fragrance, and this is 12 mils. 
This is actually a really nice set and uh, I think I think Robert will want it for sure. Uh, Aqua di Parma has a really nice uh, fragrance composition but it's kind of like an old school scent. Uh, I think this is quite unisex but it's leaning maybe slightly more masculine. So I definitely think Robert will claim that one, uh, which is fine. Uh, I think this is a really nice set. I also think this will make a really nice stocking filler, you know, if you don't really want to use it yourself, uh, I think this is going to be brilliant as a little kind of gift or like a stocking for that. Okay, let's move on to our day number 11, which is here. So here we have Le Men, a Nordic Hydra Oat Milk Oil Cleanser with Nordic Oat and Nordic Birch Sap, sensitive and all skin types, uh, 50 mils. So uh, there's that. I really like testing new face cleansers. I wish it was bigger. You know, they could have given us a bigger bottle of that. That would be nicer. I mean, I like the Zelvin calendar so far. This is probably the first time I kind of need to say something. I wish it was bigger. <laughs> anyway, nice product to try. I mean, I don't know if it's nice or not because I haven't tried it yet, but definitely something I'm excited to try, yep. Yeah. Day number 12. So we have another one of Advent Calendar Classics. Like I definitely see trends this year and this is one of them. This is Aromatherapy Associates Distress Muscle. Yeah, it's almost always Distress Muscle by the way, which I don't mind because I this is probably my favorite uh, fragrance that they have. Distress Muscle Bath and Shower Oil. Yes, 55 ml full size. I really love it. It's brilliant when you like love your baths. It is very relaxing. It smells brilliant. It's a good size. Nice product, but oh my God, I have so many of those. I probably have like six or seven backup bottles of this product and I don't even want to mention how many Agostinos Bay the, the rich cream. I'm wondering if you're going to find one in this advent calendar. I, I can't remember, but we'll see. Anyway, the number 13. So here we have something by The Ordinary and this is Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA Surface Hydration Formula. So this is if I remember correctly, a moisturizer, 30 mils. Apply after serums as needed for effective surface hydration. Uh, so yeah, it's a moisturizer. Uh, this is what it looks like. And I mean, I really like this brand. It's very efficient and it's not expensive. So when in doubt, it's always a good one to try. Okay, let's move on to our day number 14. It's over here. So here we have some Sunday Riley and this is Good Jeans Glycolic Acid Treatment. Clean purified glycolic acid deeply exfoliates and repairs the look of dull, congested and sun damaged skin for a visibly radiant, healthier looking complexion. And we have 15 mils. I really like this product, even though it contains glycolic acid, it's quite a gentle exfoliator. I have sensitive skin and I can't really use um, many acid products, but this one is fine. This one is fine for me. So yeah, it's definitely a nice product. Uh, moving on to our day number 15. So here we have one of the classics and like my all time favorites, but uh, this is something that I haven't really seen for a while, which, you know, it's, it's good to see it back. So this is Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is probably the best setting powder I've ever used. Uh, this is 9.3 grams. And this is what it looks like. I really love the fact that we have their classic translucent powder. Uh, I remember there were a couple of other versions like a glow, glowy one, which I did not really find it particularly useful. Uh, I prefer those setting powders to be like slightly mattifying because that makes more sense. Uh, and this one looks very natural. It's not drying. It's just brilliant. So definitely a good day for me. Okay, day number, day number 16. Okay, so here we have more auto drops and these are power drops. So this is 7.5% uh, CBD and 15 mils. And this one, this one actually looks very interesting to me because I've never tried these. And to be honest, I've never actually assumed that the CBD products might be, might give you like some boost of energy because I guess that's what power drops would do. Let's have a look. Infused with pure auto CBD, a blood orange, cacao husk and carob extracts to help you feel grounded and ready for the day. Release one push of the dropper under your tongue and hold for 30 seconds to absorb. For optimal effect, use as a part of your morning ritual or when needed during the day. So you use it exactly the same as the sleepy drops. The sleepy drops you use like before your bedtime obviously and these you can use like any time of the day. Day number 17 is this tiny one over here. Day number 17 and 23 are the tiniest so... Let's see. 
I guess you shouldn't really judge uh, things by their size. It's tiny, but it's a really good product. So this is Murad Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. I mean, I, again, I hope this is a good product. It's a good brand. I liked most of the products I tried from them, but this is a new one for me. Uh, so Targeted Wrinkle Corrector to use AM and PM, apply a thin line directly to wrinkles and gently massage with applicator tip. Dab excess into skin with fingertip. Let's dry before applying moisturizing and SPF. Uh, that is interesting. I don't really have like proper wrinkles. Look at the applicator. That actually looks quite cool, doesn't it? I don't really have like proper wrinkles, but I think I still be able to like uh, figure out how to use it to kind of, or maybe I can just use them on my neck because I do have like, you know, some wrinkles on my neck. So yeah, I'll just try and use it there. Uh, this is 15 mils. I'm really excited to try this out. Day number 18. So here we have Rent Clean Skincare Ever Calm Gentle Cleansing Gel. This is 50 ml, uh, perfect for sensitive skin. This is what it looks like. I've used this cleanser before, I actually really like it. I do agree, this works so well with sensitive skin. So you can use it uh, as your morning cleanser or you can use it as your like second step cleanser in your evening skincare routine. It is really nice. Um, 50 mils. I mean, I, I do think I had uh, this cleanser in this particular size and it lasted me for quite a long time. So yeah, I'm fine with that, but I wish like one of the cleansers maybe was a little bit bigger, like either the Lumen one or Rentling Skincare. I mean, I don't mind, but I wish like at least one of them was like full size. That would be amazing. Day number 19 is here. What is this? Oh, okay. I remember seeing it before and I was actually wondering uh, what that is going to like look and smell like. This is Clarins Eau Extraordinaire, uh, Strength, Freshness and Comfort. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so I needed to quickly Google that uh, and see what that really does. So this is a mood boosting uh, treatment fragrance that envelops uh, the skin in a floral and fruity scent, revives your inner strength and awakens your senses in a single step. That sounds amazing. Made of 95% natural ingredients, combines the comforting scent of essential oils with the softening and stimulating properties of plant extracts to restore comfort to the skin, awaken the senses and revive inner strength and vitality. With notes of citrus, ginger, jasmine, rose, cedarwood and patchouli, the invigorating scent brings vibrance and energy. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like a body fragrance, but with some like extra added properties. Let's have a quick sniff of that. Oh, that actually smells really lovely. For some reason, I mean, I read the notes, uh, so I shouldn't even be that surprised. But for some reason, I expected something very kind of spa-like, you know, like you have those like neon scents or like aromatherapy associates. I kind of expected that, but it's not. It's like a very pleasant fragrance and I kind of get why this is supposed to be like mood boosting because it is very pleasant. I like it. Uh, that is actually really cool and we have 30 mils over here. Day number 20. We have some makeup. Uh, this is Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in shade um, Golden Bronze. Uh, I might have this one already. I'm not really too sure, but I do use these things uh, quite a lot, especially when I don't really, well, can't be asked to do like a proper makeup and I just want to do something like really quick. Uh, these are super quick to use. They're perfect for traveling. The shade is really pretty, uh, very kind of like wearable. So very useful, kind of like universally flattering shade. Uh, and it's obviously a full size product. Day number 21. Okay, so I got a little bit stressed for a second because this is what we have in our day number 21. Uh, and, you know, the first thought, orgasm lash, but it's not really, it's behave. Uh, so that is actually quite exciting to have a different uh, blush than orgasm in another calendar. It's, it's a mini, so could have been bigger, I guess. But you know what? I need to appreciate the fact that we have a different shade. So this is the shade here. I do feel like it's going to be too light for my skin and it's definitely going to be too light for anyone who has deeper skin than mine. I mean, so not particularly inclusive. I mean, I think I can work with that, uh, especially in winter uh, when I don't really have like any tan. I think I can work with that. But obviously this is not going to be very inclusive uh, as far as like different skin tones go. Uh, it's going to be great for like people with lighter skin tones than mine though. Day number 22. Ooh, okay. So this is Susan Kaufman Glow Mask. 
So this is one of those brands that I really like but I never spend money on because I mean these products are quite pricey. Uh, they're lovely but they are quite pricey so I'm always happy to see you know a new product to try in an advent calendar or like anywhere else uh, and I've never tried this before so very exciting. Apply a generous layer to the face and neck taking care to avoid the area the eye area and leave on for 15 minutes. Remove with a warm damp cloth. And we have 50 ml, so this is a full size Suzanne Kaufman face mask. On to our super tiny day number 23. Okay, uh, that's quite interesting. Those like tiny little drawers contain quite good product. So what we have here is Dermalogica Awaken Peptide Eye Gel, the puffing eye gel 15 ml. I've never tried this product before, but I really like Dermalogica. So this is something I'm, I'm actually very excited to, you know, to, to test. Energizes eye area and reduces appearance of puffiness over time. And this is 15 mils. Day number 24, Christmas Eve. And we have some more makeup. So this is Clinique High Impact Mascara, seven mils. I've never tried this mascara before, so uh, that's interesting. I really love testing new mascara, but there are not many that I'm actually really happy about. I'm very picky when it comes to my mascaras, only because my lashes are not that amazing. I mean, they're short and straight, so I do need some like something extra to kind of make them visible. So this is the mascara, seven mils, high impact mascara. Um, we'll see, I mean, time will tell whether I will actually be able to recommend that one or not. Okay, so we're down to our day number 25, Christmas day. Uh, this is quite a large box, so hopefully I won't be disappointed, let's see. Okay guys, so a little spoiler for you, no Augustine's bather. Uh, so what do we have here? Obviously we have more than one item. We have like four, I guess. Uh, so first up we have this uh, Philip Kingsley Duo bodybuilding shampoo and conditioner. And both of these are 75 mils. This is quite a nice size. We usually get shampoos and conditioners uh, in sizes like between like 30 and 50 mils. So this is quite generous, I would say. I really love Fib Kingsley and I also have to appreciate the fact that we have a shampoo and a conditioner in one uh, drawer and that's not everything. So we have two more products inside. Uh, so we have Living Proof Triple Bond Complex. Uh, this is Hair Strengthener, 15 mils. And then lastly, we have Hair Ritual by Sisley, and this is Precious Hair, hair Care Oil uh, for glossiness and nutrition, hair and scalp care. And this is 10 ml, so like a tiny little sample. Okay guys, so this is the John Lewis Living Calendar fully unboxed. I definitely need to go back for day number one for a moment because I feel like really silly now. So once I stopped filming, I just decided to try this once again and this time for some reason it was just very simple. I'm not really sure how I couldn't figure it out in the first place. So this is our refill and you just have to pull. Yeah, that was the difficult bit, I guess. So you just put it back here. And there you go, this is the lipstick or the lip balm in this kind of nice case, which makes sense and yeah, everything works, everything works. I was just, I don't know, overwhelmed with the idea that I have to put the things together. Sorry for that guys. Anyway, this is the whole John Lewis advent calendar, fully unboxed, what do you think? So there are definitely products I find uh, quite exciting, like this Susan Kaufman face mask that actually looks brilliant. I love the fact that we have this hand cream uh, or this uh, Votary Super Seed Serum. I really love these products. Uh, these two items look very interesting to me. The Power Drops uh, by Otto and uh, this Clarins uh, fragrance. Uh, so definitely a couple of really nice items. I think we have a really nice uh, balance between skincare and makeup. We have the Charlotte Tilbury quad, uh, Bobbi Brown um, eyeshadow in a stick, or my favorite Laura Mercier powder. I mean, there is this tiny uh, NARS blush in a shade that's not really going to be suitable for like most people. This one here, also the size of it is not particularly exciting. I mean, I guess you would expect something a little bit bigger in Advent Calendar priced at almost 200 pounds. Uh, but I do think generally makeup is quite nice and we obviously have this like lovely lip balm in a case that works uh, perfectly together it was just me getting confused but then on the flip side we have a couple of things that could have been better maybe like we do have two of those like face washes uh, that are both like 50 mils uh, I do feel like at least one of those could be bigger 
uh, that would be nice. I also have to tell you that I don't really find uh, day number 25 particularly exciting. Uh, I really love this uh, Philip Kingsley duo. I mean, uh, both the shampoo and conditioner are brilliant. But I guess in day number 25, you expect something extra, like something Christmassy, not a shampoo and conditioner. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe your thoughts are completely different, but I, would, I wouldn't buy the candle or like, I don't know, something like a palette, uh, something a little bit more exciting than a shampoo and conditioner and two kind of like minis, right? So that's not like the worst thing in the world, but I feel like, you know, just placing products a little bit differently will make such a big difference, I feel like. So anyway, I do think this is a really nice advent calendar. I, uh, there are some products I haven't tried before, which I'm very excited to try, uh, especially uh, as far as skincare goes. And there are also plenty of my all-time favorites. So that definitely makes me feel like this is a really good advent calendar. But I feel like there's a little bit of this wow effect missing for me. I still have to remind myself that this is an advent calendar that is priced at below 200 pounds. So I can't really compare it to like those more expensive advent calendars, obviously. I also think my expectations were uh, very high, maybe unrealistically high, I don't know, because this advent calendar was so good in the previous years, so I guess that might be the thing. Anyway, never mind. Uh, it's a good advent calendar for sure, but I would love to know your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Do you like it? Uh, do you not like it? Uh, do you think it's worth the money or maybe not? I would love to know your thoughts. Uh, also, how would you compare this one to the last year's one? Thank you very much for watching. For more advent calendar unboxing videos, check the ones over here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.